Great morning, great morning, great, great, morning, great, great, great rising. rising. Welcome, 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 welcome. Jam. 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 It is, it early. is early. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not sure Not where, sure where you go. I am, I I am the lady. Fit. We will be doing a full body workout. Uh, it's about 20 minutes total. It is a, quite a few move, moving parts. So uh, you will need dumbbells. You will need a mat. We'll be working with probably low dumbbells for me. They'll be my tens and my eights. Uh, if you have dumbbells, at least a five to between five and 10 pounds, try not to do anything under that unless you have an injury because it's not really going to uh, give you what you need. If you don't have any dumbbells at all, this is your first time, uh, just use some water bottles or just your body weight. You'll still get a great workout, but for those who have been working out with me for a little while, you guys already know, uh, get those weights. So before we get started, we're just gonna talk about what is the buzz with Wakana. I got y'all our full body, full body, <laughs> our 21 day cleanse, right? And this is with uh, Dr. Eric Prince. If you're in Chicago, get that body scan done. We're going to be eating according to our blood type. Some people are starting uh, now, like myself. I, I, I was supposed to start this week, just a lot of hiccups with my car. Um, or you can get a group and start the first of the year. A lot of people are doing that. Uh, you want to order now because you don't want the first of the year to get here and you don't have your products. So uh, one of the products is the Flat Belly Cleanse, the Regenerator. It's a superfood. It's to restore back what is leaving your body to give you those nutrients. And then the second one is not probably in this order, but this, this is what I have. The Flat Belly Cleanse, the Purifier, the Liquid Colonic. And then we have uh, the Flat Belly Cleanse, the Eliminator. Removes mucus and those parasites. So I'm telling you, uh, if you're looking to lose weight, you will lose weight and waste. Uh, for me, I'm not looking to lose weight, but I am looking to lose waste. So I'll probably lose somewhere, I don't know how many pounds, but um, we want to get these bodies back to uh, balance and we want to remove all the negative stuff that's going on in our body. So uh, cleanse is necessary. We need to cleanse. A I'm sorry, physically, spiritually, naturally, we need to cleanse these bodies, mind, spirit, and body, it all works together. Get rid of the toxicity in your body, holding unforgiveness and hate and all that stuff. We got to cleanse and we got to let that go because that also causes you to be sick. So let's get rid of all that negativity. Let's stop holding on to grudges and just love on people that's not loving on you. You can love them from a distance, but let be for, forgiving. Let go of all of that unforgiveness and start the new year. We can start it off now. So whoever it is, forgive them. Let it go. Give it back to them. <laughs> Take your power back, okay? So I wasn't trying to go there, but I just felt led. All right, so we're going to start off with the warm-up. So Dr. Roz, when you are ready, and then we're going to go right into our workout. All right, let's go, y'all. Let's march it out. Let's march. And that beat. March. Walk it up. Walk it back. Up. Back. Up. And back. That's it. Up. Back. We're gonna bring that one knee up. Back, 
I'm move this out of the way. Here we go. I can see you now. So the sprawl, it looks like this. So it looks like this. Bring the waist up. So you can walk it back. You can go here, walk it up. Boom. Or if that's too much, like Lady Fit, I can't get down there and get back up. So you can go here, up down up but for those that's been working out with me at least challenge yourself to do the modified version okay it's gonna look like that all right so that's oh and then one last one it's called a uh a dead stop push-up so you'll be on your on the floor you'll be here you're gonna push up you're gonna come here push up and I will definitely uh, demonstrate all these workouts as we go. But it's moving. I'm just trying to get you ready for what's coming. All right, Dr. Roz, whenever you are ready, we're going into that squat to that press. Okay. Starting session. Okay. It's a sweater. Anytime you need a break, take it. You don't have to keep up with me. Good job. 
We're getting there. It's a celebration. 
I just want the weight off my shoulders. Just a modification. Looking good, guys. Keep going. Static. Static. Looking good, guys. We got that static.
going. So now I have my twin. Because of 13, it was good. But how do you get strong? You go a little heavier. That's it. Get on Yeah. We just 
worked out like that. Woo! But you can take that bad boy up. This is a little harder. A little cha more challenging. I hope I didn't do too many, because I don't know how to count. But if I did, what they say, it's good luck, right? <laughs> but all day here, we're going to do one more. Woo! Looking good, guys. Get ready. Session. Take that sweaty picture. Your rite of passage. Cynthia smiling. Everybody <laughs> else, they cussing me out like this. <laughs> so thank you guys. Take that sweaty picture. So we're gonna bring it into balance. I'm your girl, Lady E Fit. Join me. I'm uh, workout. It's not free, but uh, you know, pay a little some some. Meet a lot of beautiful, fantastic women. Do some challenges. You might want some prizes. If not, can't afford that, stick with us every Wednesday. We do rebounding every day, Monday through Saturday. All right. I'm going to hand it over to my partner in crime, Queen. Let me take this sweaty picture. Hello. Hello. Can y'all hear me? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Cynthia, <laughs> Carmen, Taronda, Ophelia, Nicola, Dr. Ross, DJ Dr. Ross, Miss Shirley, and of course, my partner in fitness, my partner in fitness. Yes. Lady E Fit. Okay, y'all, check this out. Okay, so we're 
Oh my gosh. I keep coming with it. I keep coming with it because I really want you to understand the power of this right here, this oud oil. I want you to understand the power of this oud oil. Um, I use this in my, um, I do massage therapy. So I do this in my massage therapy. I use this product in my uh, services for my clients as well as my topical when they want a CBD um, massage, okay? Every time that I use this on someone, they, they purchase it because it, it absolutely works. It mm -hmm. works, it's wonderful, I love it, it's powerful. The aromatherapy aspects of it all uh, with our eucalyptus, our peppermint, the many uh, different herbs, the uh, proprietary blend that's in these products will awaken the spirit, it will calm your nerves, it will enlighten your mind, it makes you, it, it just does so many amazing things. And I am such a product of the product. This one is empty, we'll be reordering that today. And of course, our 400 topical, top seller, number one, Power Pain Extreme Man. Um, I mean, hands down, if you don't have this in your um, medicine cabinet, medicine cabinet, yeah, you need to get that. So get with whomever invited you. They love you. They appreciate you. They adore you. They may not even like you, but that's the, the part that they love you is the part that's important. So thank you for joining us today. I got my 500 milligram tincture that goes under the tongue two times a day, three drops under the tongue holding for 60 seconds. That's going straight into my bloodstream. That's giving me that nice balance that I'm looking for. So let's get going on some yoga, y'all. Thank you so much, Lady Fit. I feel strong every Wednesday. I feel stronger every, every Wednesday. I feel stronger every day, y'all. Because yoga is every day. Exercise is something you can do every day. And just because exercise, you, you think about exercise, you think about movement. You know, sometimes you're exercising rest. Rest is an exercise as well. So we also have to remain calm and peaceful and rest our bodies because our rest is what helps the body regenerate those muscles and get those cells nice and uh, uh, strong and get everything moving in the body. Rest, rest, rest is so important. So let's go ahead and get started with our yoga portion. So we're gonna do about 15 minutes. It is 6.35, we will be out of here in about 15, okay? So go ahead and just find yourself standing on your mat. Hopefully everyone can hear me and see me. I'm gonna take off these socks because I will be sliding all over this floor. I don't have my mat with me right now. That's okay, because you can do yoga anywhere on any surface at any time. If you're on lava, just levitate. You know, you can still make it happen. All right, so your feet are about hip width apart. Firmly in the floor. We're going to do some movement today with uh, some salutations. So what I want you to do is if you're on a uh, mat, you can come to the front of the mat, to so the top of the mat, so that you have all the mat behind you to step back. If you're on the floor, you just, you know, open it. It's all good. So I'm going to go right about here. All right, and we're gonna just do our inhale up and down. So let's inhale a couple of times, reaching up and out. Exhale and bring our arms out and down. Inhale again, up nice and deep. Take your time, breathe in nice and deep into the belly. And exhale, reaching out, always lengthening and opening, always thinking about reaching from the core of the body all the way out, like where the sun rises. So everything must be open. Got to reach high to the sky, out and down to the ground. Let's do that again. Breathe in nice and deep. Breathe in. Take your time on your way up. Inhale. And on your way down, exhale, reaching out. Take from the shoulders. Let's do that again. Inhale. Take nice, deep, slow breaths. Exhale, calming the body back down a little bit. Just moving it in a different direction, okay? Inhale again, up. 
And on this, on our way down, let's go ahead and forward fold. So exhale and fold from here. Forward and in. And into the palm. Let your head up. Let your head and neck relax. Allow your shoulders and everything to just relax yourself down. Now inhale, I want you to bring yourself halfway up so your hands come right above the knees, your arms are straight, your head is looking out, your back is straight, shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale again, and on your exhale forward, fold back down again. Place your hands on the floor if you can. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Go ahead and step back. We're going to call on a, a high plank. Keep your abdominal walls in. You're up on your toes, so bend your toes. Straighten your legs. Engage your core muscles. Engage your abdominal muscles. And push away from the floor. So don't sink down on your shoulders. Push away from the floor. Here, bring your knees down, lift your feet up, and give them a wiggle. Then on that plank, we're just doing an adjustment here. Place the leg back down. And you can go forward, drop the bottom. Your chest is lifting up, and we're looking up at the sky. Drop your hips down towards the floor. If you pull more. Tuck your toes under and push your bottom up to the elbow ball. Make sure your feet are hip width apart, so don't keep them close. Spread your feet apart. Wonderful. Bottom is pointing up towards the sky. Good. On your toes, exhale down to your knees. We're in a tabletop here. Lift your toes, give them a wiggle, and then just flatten the feet down. Your fingers are spread nice and wide. Your palms are pressing into the floor or mat. Stand for the rest, wherever you are. Your knees are under your hips. Your belly is tucked in. Here we're going to go into some cat cows. So inhale, your belly comes down, head comes up, elbow comes up, press into the floor. Let the belly hang. A couple of inhales and exhales here. Inhale and exhale, push away from the floor, arching your back up, tuck your tailbone under. Tuck your tailbone under and press into the floor. Okay, inhale, reverse. Tailbone comes up, head comes up. Press into the floor and never sink into your shoulders. Always press nice and strong, flat back. Now our bellies are down, so we have an arch in our spine. Inhale, is, in, is uh, out, exhale, and press up, and press into the floor, arching the back. Let's inhale, tuck the toes under, exhale, send the bottom back up, and down with dog. Wonderful. Now, inhale here, you want to lift the left leg up. When you lift it up, you want to stretch the toes out. Stretch your toes out, extend your leg away from your body. You're going to bring the toe down and bring it up towards your left hand. This floor is very slippery here, so 
I'm going to be very careful because the carpet here is kind of slippery and I don't want my mat. But you guys are in a little lunge. 90 degrees right here in the front knee. Left, I mean, the right leg is extended out behind me. Low lunge. Your hips are uh, pressing towards the floor. So inhale here. I want you to turn the right foot down to the floor. So your right foot should not, your heel shouldn't be up, the heel should be down on the floor. And your foot is turned a little like this. A little bit to the side. So plant your back foot down. After you plant your back foot down, you're just gonna stand up and come right up into your warrior one. Doesn't have to be a wide stand. Whatever feels comfortable for you, but you're reaching your arms up. So don't just have them up there, reaching your fingertips up towards the sky. Now inhale, exhale, let's go ahead and bring our arms down into our warrior two. Your shoulders are away from your ears, your arms are extended out. So again, your fingertips are reaching out. Everything is always thinking about getting taller, y'all. Make sure there's a 90 degree angle on that front knee. Looking good, Miss Cynthia, I need you to turn for me. So, no, no, so if your foot is in front, you guys, your leg is in the back, your body is facing. Oh, a different angle. Yes. So your foot is, is facing forward, your arms and hands are in alignment as well. And we're looking out towards those fingertips. So it looks like this. Give your arm in the back a check. Make sure it's up where it needs to be. Everything is in alignment. So 90 degrees in that front leg. Extend it out with the fingertips. From here, we're going to bend the front arm. Okay, so inhale, bend your front arm right here. The forearm is going to come to the thigh and you're going to extend the right arm over your ear. So here we are. Side leg, extend it out over the ear. Bend your arm out as straight as you can. And then come back up to standing into our warrior two. Yeah. So the knee that's bent, there's an arm that's right over it. The straight leg in the back has an arm extended behind. Let's turn our bodies forward. So we're just going to bring the arm to meet the other arm and, and pivot on the back toe. So now we're facing forward, facing that bent knee. Inhale, bring those arms back up to warrior one. And inhale here, and we're gonna come back up to standing. The arms stay nice and tall. Arch back, exhale. And bring your arms down. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. I'm trying to check y'all out while. So if I move, don't y'all, you know, don't, don't come out of your position. Just stay where you are. So I want to make sure y'all doing this right. Okay, y'all ready? We're going to inhale. It's going to be an inhale up. Exhale, arms come down. We're going to inhale up again. And then we're going to exhale into a forward fold, okay? And then from there, we're going to have the leg movements and all that other good stuff. All right. So is this a good angle sideways for you? Yeah? OK. So inhale, let's bring our arms up. Your feet are hip width apart. Exhale, bring your arms down, extending out, reaching out, lengthening, opening. Inhale into the belly, nice and big inhale. Exhale, begins your descent, forward fold. Hips come up towards the side. Belly comes towards the side. 
chest comes toward your knees. Get your body as close to the top part, as close to the bottom as you can. So your torso is close to your waist. Release your head. Release your neck. Hang out. Hang out right here for a second. Just release the neck. Shake your head no. Shake it yes. But release the neck. Inhale, you're going to lift up. Halfway up, it's a long way. Halfway right here above the knee, hands above the knees. Do not press your hands into your knees. Your hands are basically there just for the purposes of a, like a kickstand. But we're not holding the pressure. We don't want to end with our knees. So above or below the knee, arms are straight. It's like something is pulling you from the tip of your head. So you're extended from your top of your head to your spine. Shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale here. Exhale and come right back down. Tummy towards the thighs, chest towards the knees. Relax in here. Inhale here. Let's place our hands on the floor. You need to bend your knees. Can you do so? If you're sitting in a chair, you can still do this position. So we're going to inhale, look up. Exhale, fold back down again and relax. Let's step back into our, our plank. Nice and tall in your plank pose, pressing into the floor. Your, your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are in line. So nothing is extended out too far. Everything is stacked on top of each other in your front. That's giving you your nice firm foundation. Squeeze your down the wall in. Extend out through your heels, your toes are bent. From here, we're going to just bring the knees down, the toes, give them a wiggle. Still staying in that plank. Let your feet come down. Start to bring the hips down towards the floor, keeping the upper torso up. If you need to come to your elbows and bend your elbows, you can. You're going to an, um, a lower cobra, otherwise, if you can stay up nice and tall, press your hands into the floor. Tuck your toes under, we're going to down the block. Walk your feet forward, pressing your heels towards the floor. In our downward dog, pressing the heels towards the floor. Arms are extended. And then out. Inhale, right foot comes up. Extend the toes out. So extend your legs. Stretch your leg away from the body. Spread your toes and reach out. Press your hands into the floor. Your head is between your arms. Let's bend that right knee, come up towards the right hand, and pull a little lunge on the right side. One of the degrees is the front leg. And the knee to the left leg. Let's get extended back up on those toes, giving a nice massage. Reflect out all the points of the bottom of the feet. From here, we're going to place the left foot down. So if your toes are up, you're just going to turn the heel down. And then flip it now flat. You're going to come up straight from the right leg into your warrior one. Inhale here. Exhale. Making sure that your body is turned straight. Facing that bent knee at 90 degrees. Let's inhale and exhale. Extend those arms out. So reach out from your shoulders. Let's 
into the heart of that. You're bringing the right over. Inhale, exhale, coming over. Here. Then out over your ears. Let me see y'all. Let me check y'all out. So I know I don't like it. So try to get your shoulder back a little bit more, Lady Efit. Try to open the chest more so that the arm comes back behind. Good job. That looks great. Good job. Cynthia, go ahead and bend your elbow. Bend that arm. The forearm is going to be on your thigh. So you may want to step your straight leg back a little bit further. Give yourself a little bit more extension. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So let's come on back up into the warrior two. Back in the warrior two. We come from here, right back here. Making sure the arms are in alignment from the front to back. Maybe arms together, so. Both arms come together, we come up on the back toe of the extended leg. So the back toe is bent. We're back in our warrior one. We're gonna inhale, bring those arms up. Press up and extend back. And then the arms down. That was the warrior sequence a bit. We did the first couple of moves in, a, in the uh, sun salutation. I think we could do, we can run through. Let me see, we got 654. We got about six more minutes. Guys. We can run through it. All right, okay. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Run right into it. Make sure your feet are about hip width apart, please. Coming towards the thighs, chest towards the knees, hip, relax. Relax right here, catch your breath. Find your breath. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, go all the way back down again. We're going to jump back or step back into that plank pose. Wonderful. Inhale, exhale, right into our down fall. Inhale, come up on your toes and down to your knees. Keep your toes, give them a wiggle. Take the end of the down. Again, lift the toes, give them a wiggle, tuck them under. Back into your downward dog. Your head is between your arms. Your feet are hip width apart. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, bring that left leg towards the left hand, right into your low lunge on the left side. Low lunge on the left side. Left foot comes to left hand. I feel like I'm playing in, um, is it twisted? <laughs> Turn the back foot down, come up into your warrior one. Pick up your press here. Nice deep inhale, exhale. And let's turn on our exhale to our warrior two. In our arm back. Inhale, bend that front arm, extend forward, reach forward, come down to the thigh. And right on over here. So press the shoulders back, chest comes forward. If you can, you can drop the arm behind you. Otherwise, the arm comes up over the ear. From here, we're going to go ahead and go back up to our warrior two. Sending the arms out. 
Bring the arms together, coming around to our warrior one. Coming up on the back toes. Inhale, arms up. Press it up. Bring it up. Press it right back down. Arms together. Great balancing, strength, flexibility, all of that. So again, inhale up. Exhale down. Forward fold, bottoms up, knees. Hands are Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Step or jump back into your plank pose. Get the top of your plank, pressing your hand into the floor. Tummy is nice and firm. Lean through the heels. Inhale, drop your knees down. Just dropping the knees down. You still have the extension going. So just adjusting this plank. Lift the toes, give them a wiggle, put the insets down. Start to bring yourself down, hips towards the floor, pressing up into the cobra. You can do forearm to the floor mat. Otherwise, keep them nice and straight. Tuck your toes under, sending it back into downward dog, bottoms up. Woo! Take your breath. Take your time. Inhale and exhale, using your breath as your strength. Inhale, right foot up. Stretch and reach. Extend the foot out. Bend the knee. Coming back up to that right hand. Right? So right knee. I mean, right foot to right hand. Low lunge. Leg is extended back behind your left leg. Right leg to the front. I need to breathe. Wonderful. And then we're going to turn that foot down so that we're planted back there in the back. Coming up into our warrior one. Shoulders are in alignment, arms are right next to each other. Nice deep breaths, guys. Take in that oxygen. Take in that energy. Press the uh, carbon dioxide out of the body. Inhale, and on our exhale, we go right into our warrior two. Extend your arms out. Bend the right arm, inhale. Exhale, extend yourself over your head. Arm comes over your head. You face the direction that your uh, chest is turned towards. So if your chest is facing the wall, you're going to be looking towards the wall. Extend and reach, reach, reach out. Don't just have that arm over, reaching that hand out. Extending from the side oblique, so all along the side of the body. Inhale here. Use that left arm as your leverage to come back up to your warrior two. Extend your arms out. Turn the left foot forward, bring the arms forward back into our warrior one. Inhale your arms up into warrior one. From here, we're going to use the strength of our thighs because we're so strong because they get make sure that these quads get the work, the backs, the hips, the legs. Let's press ourselves forward, finding the strength and balance. Leave that leg up for a second. I want the knee in front. I don't want your hip up. You hit that. We're going to do some belly dancing. <laughs> Let's switch. Slowly drop that left hip to the floor. Find our balance and lift the right leg. Right knee up. Right knee up. Yes. Extending up, reaching out of the rib cage. Ooh, and then down. Let me get back up here. Hold on, yeah. That's all right. Nothing but space and opportunity. To get it right, to get it better. To get it how we want it. Bring it back up there. Come on. 
and to the other side. One more time. Bring the arms down, reach out, reach out, reach out. Losing your breath, nice and level. Bring that knee up. Woo-wee! Hallelujah. All right. Now let's switch to the other side again. You know, sometimes one side is rocking and the other side is rolling. <laughs> this side is rolling. I'm, you know, I refuse to be out of balance. Celebrate well, if I had to do this 10 times, thousands of items 20 times in order for me to feel that strength in both sides of my body, I would do that. For me. All right, place your feet down, arms come down. Woo. All right, now. That asymmetric holes, boy, y'all already know. So it's 7.03. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today on the Wakanda Fitness Jam. Went over a few minutes. Yeah, get the nice stretches on, get in that shower, open the body. Make sure you're using your products if you need it. Get with whomever invited you. Ernestine Davis, Dr. DJ, Dr. Roz in the house with the rebounding coming up. Anybody have any uh, announcements? Uh, just get those cleanses, uh, the 21 day cleanse. We're still doing the flat belly uh, detox uh, with the bitters. Uh, so it's just a plethora of ways to uh, cleanse this body. Exercising is not enough. Uh, eating according to our blood type. If you're in Chicago, uh, schedule your body scan. You have to schedule it. Get with the person that invited you. Um, that's it for me. But girl, that yoga, I'm like, she's getting me back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I felt every yeah. bit of that. I was down there shaking like a crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> it felt, you know it what? feels it's a, so good. It's about, working, it's about working past that shake. So that's why I like to hold the poses for as long as I do, y'all, so we can get past the shake. We can let the body know, okay, this is what we're doing right now. Okay, so hold it, breathe it, bring in that oxygen, y'all, to get that blood flow going, to keep it going, keep those fluids moving, so... I love Thank this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Bye, sisters. All right. Nice to meet you, yeah. Cynthia. Welcome to the group. Yes, indeed. I'm Thank Cynthia you. as Bo Swan, so I'm on a different apparatus. Oh, you're Bo Swan. Oh. Okay. I always see your uh your 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 pit, you know, face. never your face, but welcome. Right. Hey, okay. Yeah. Nice. So I've been here, I'm just now revealing myself. Right. <laughs> Yeah. You look amazing. Yeah. Thanks, you Carmen. Do. I think everybody else had to jump off. And Dr. Roz, I love the piano mm -hmm. concerto. That was good. It was really nice. <laughs> yeah, it was I nice. Still hear you. Yeah. Good. Okay. good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Dr. All right. Roz. Right, Rebound in it. Have a good Those day, everybody. Good day. All right. Peace. Peace. All right. See. You. I gotta come check us out. Yes, yes. I got to. And I got a rebound. <laughs> Mama, we don't know. All right.